Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Big Mario Online channel. In today's video, I will teach you how to install the Skyrim Together Reborn multiplayer mod for Skyrim Special Edition. Now, I'm going to be manually installing this mod because it does not work when you're installing it with Vortex Mod Manager. Now, I've never used Mod Organizer 2, so I will not, and then you want to go to Files. After that, you want to click on Manual Download. Now, it will ask you to install address libraries for the SKSE plugins. What you want to do is you want to click on that, it will take you to this link here. Now, SKSE stands for Skyrim Script Extender, which is required for Skyrim Reborn. Uh, Skyrim Together Reborn, rather. So you want to go to the other link in the, in the description, which will take you to this website here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go over to Files, and then you want to go over to Manual Download. Now, this mod is for 1.6 only, and so with Skyrim Together Reborn, so is the address libraries, and actually also like address libraries and Skyrim Script Extender can work on 1.5, but Skyrim Together Reborn only works on 1.6. Now, to check whether or not you have, well, you can't check, mm, you can't check whether or not you have 1.5. If you pause the game while, whilst you're loading, it will tell you what game version you're running. Now, if you download the game directly from uh, Steam and it's clean install, then you'll be running 1.6. If you've recently reinstalled it, and I mean, like, installed a couple of mods, you probably do have 1.6 installed. Um, if you've ever used the best of both worlds patcher, that downgrades it to 1.5. So make sure you are running 1.6 before following this tutorial. So you want to d manually download the SKSE uh, 64 for Skyrim Special Edition. Now already have this, I already have this installed. Actually no, I'm going to reinstall it rather. So I'm going to click on this. Click on the slow download. Uh, give it for 5 seconds and it will start downloading. Now, now they have this up now. Open, open my zip program of choice which is WinRAR. You can use 7-zip, you can use um... Actually, you know, because of the dot set, uh, 7z file, you will not be able to use the default um, uh, Windows File Explorer zip program. You will have to download WinRAR or 7zip. Or WinZip, I think that's still around. Anyway, um, I wouldn't use WinZip though because it's been reported um, to might to maybe have uh, viruses in it. I don't think that's enough. Anyway, just use WinRAR 7zip, the, the most trusted um, zip, file, uh, zip programs out of. You know, all of them. So what you want to do next is you want to find your game directory. So you want to go to a mod manager, you want to go to Steam, and you want to go to games, you want to click on this, you want to go to open, and game folder. If you're not doing that, you can follow, you can go on to Steam, so to Skyrim, then you can right click this, go to manage, and then browse local files. Either way you'll get your game directory. Now I already have SKS installed, but I'll still follow you through what you have to do. Now. Open up the WinRAR program. Well, then open up the uh, 7 zip file. Uh, double click on the SKSE 64. Drag everything from here, not including the, uh, the two dots at the top. Just drag and drop it into here. Now, it will ask me to replace files because I've already done this before, but it will not ask you to replace files because you have not done this before, assuming that you haven't installed SKSE, SKSE before. So, next thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, you know, the web browser of choice, and you want to go over to the other link in the description, which I've already, which I've already mentioned before. You want to go over to files, and you want to make sure you're downloading the anniversary edition. Now, even if you've not paid for the anniversary edition, it just refers to 1.6+, plus, which is what Skyrim Special Edition is when you, um, install it from Steam. So, click on manual download, click on slow download, give it 5 seconds, and it should start downloading. Now, I tried to do this with a mod manager, a Vortex mod manager, to be specific, and it didn't work, so you might find a way to figure it out, uh, you might f figure it out and make it work using that, but uh, I'm not going to it. Anyway, so, uh, you want to go back to your game directory folder, open up the all-in-one anniversary edition zip file, then you want to go to data, I think, yep, SKSC, you want to open this, uh, yep, not, uh, go in here, go in here, then you want to drag and drop plugins folder, yeah. Now, this will add a ton of library files. So, uh, yep, after you've done that, you want to actually download Skyrim Together Reborn. So, just click download here. Click on slow download, and it will download another zip file, which is only 100 megabytes, so it will be, you know, it will download relatively quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to cut the video, so, you know, I'll see you when it's done. Now, once the zip file has downloaded, you want to open it. Now, what you want to do is you want to go over to 
uh, your Skyrim directory again. Go into the data folder. I think. Hang on. Yeah. Then I want to drag everything from here and then put it into here. Now, launching it is very simple. You don't have to launch it through the normal Skyrim launch. You want to go to Skyrim Together Reborn the folder and launch Skyrim Together. And now I will see you when it's launched. Oh, wait, hang on. No, my bad. So, what you have to do is you have to select the Skyrim SE folder. Now, if it's not by default in your Steam library, like if it doesn't uh, automatically select the Skyrim Special Edition folder, you have to manually find it, so I can help you with that. It's very simple. So just select Skyrim SE.exe, and it should boot up, so I'll see you when I'm there. Now, once it's booted up, what you want to do is you want to go to Load, and you want to load a, um, a save that you have either... Right. It is recommended for this that you first get out of Helgen. I don't think it works while you're in Helgen, the tutorial. So you have to get out of Helgen first, and if I were you, I would start using this mod right after you get out of Helgen, because that's when it starts working. So you want to load up a save, in my case it's tutorial there. I'm gonna load this up, click yes. Um, yep, don't need to worry about that, just click yes. Oh, uh, you won't get that error. But yeah, just, if you don't have a save like this, just start a new game. Um... Uh, name it whatever. Um, your username not on Steam, but on um, the your character username. Your character name will be used to um, like whenever you're chatting with someone. It won't be your Steam username that is displayed. It will be your Skyrim Together username that is displayed. Your character name. Now, now that I'm here, I want to press Left Control on your window. Sorry, no. Left Alt. Uh, there we go, right, yeah, left control, then you want to click on connect, and then you want to go to public servers, and look at that, that's a ton of public servers. Now, it's not a super active thing, but you can ask for LFG on their official Discord if I'm not mistaken. Now, I'm going to join... Uh, This server at the top, it isn't English, but it's got the most players, so I'm going to join it. I can type in chat. As you can see, the time has changed, because this is the time that is for everyone else. This is like the server time. Now, the time of the day is controlled by the person that's hosting the game. Or rather, the first person to join, I think. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, yeah, no one seems to be responding, so I'm gonna leave the server. Press left control again. Oh, you can go to player manager. You can stop guilds and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so you can meet other people, you can write items. As far as I'm aware, they aren't shared, they keep on changing this. Um, in the old version that I played, it was really buggy. I think they tried to share the items. But, um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah. I don't think items are shared, so if you take an item from a chest, I don't think the other person wants to take an item from the chest. But yeah, no, you can stop a party, and I think quests are shared. So yeah, no, you can complete the entire game with your friends, it is amazing. Oh, I'm going to try and connect to a different server because I don't want to respond then. Connect. Public servers. And the fire and the server here so good. As you can see the time changed again because this is the server time. Now, I press control, you can see how many people are on here, so we've got the player manager, this is the amount of people that are on. You can launch a party. And leave your party, you can invite people to the party. Well, I'm gonna leave my party. But yeah, and I'll get a group of friends on, and yeah, it's really fun. In peak hours, I think you'll find servers of like, uh, 10 people. Oh, yeah, there you go, someone responded. Um, the previous version of Harbour, it was way buggier, it didn't have as many features, you didn't, I don't think, I don't think parties existed, I think they tried to share the items and that didn't work out very well. 
The items might be shadow, could be completely wrong or not, but if they are, like, they're either really buggy or it doesn't work at all. But, uh, yeah, so, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm,